The Nikola Tractor Mass holds the record of being the largest road-going prime mover in the world, and the real 8x8 version weighs around 36 tonnes. This model of it by Tonkin comes in a very robust and high quality outer shipping carton, and inside the box itself is also of presentation quality. Looking at the box the branding is quite discreet with just some logos on one side, and if the box is opened up the quality continues, because the model is very securely held in black foam rubber. The box should contain a small bag with a couple of small pins for locking the ball bar, but it's missing from the review model and in reality they're not needed. One thing that is well worth having though is the small booklet that comes with the model, and it contains some interesting information and photos of the real tractor mass, and it also includes the timeline of its history. There's also some technical specifications of the real machine, and the last couple of pages are devoted to a bit about Tonkin and the features of the model. So, having read all about it, it's time to get the model out of the box, and here you have to be a bit careful. The reason is that the foam rubber has a very tight grip on the model, so you have to be a little bit careful and ease it out gently. Once you've got it out of the box, there's just a couple of little bits of packaging to remove, and after that there's no assembly to do because this model is complete out of the box! Looking underneath, the 8x8 transmission is very detailed and the big Caterpillar engine can be seen. The silver rivets on the steering linkages stand out a bit but there's a nice fan at the front and meshwork at the front of the wheel arches. The tyres are the same design on each axle and the wheels are very detailed. Another nice touch is that there are real rubber mud flaps behind the front wheels. The high cab has been captured well with its clear beacon lights on the roof and the big ball bars and meshwork at the front. The handrails are metal with sharp graphics, and the equipment container looks really good. Another very nice aspect of the model is that if you look down through the mesh you can see the fans inside. Another very nice detail on the model is all of the mesh walkways. At the rear the details are simple like on the real truck with plastic representing the wheel arches. It's rare to see a tractor mass in real life, but one place that you could see one was at the Baumer exhibition in Germany in 2013. And it's possible to see that the model version is almost identical to the real truck on display. Getting up close and personal with the real truck, it can be seen that the tyre design is accurate on the model. As are the wheel chocks, which are stored in front of the big fuel tank. It can also be seen that the simple modelling of the rear wheel arches is also accurate. For the review of the features we'll start by having a look underneath. And firstly the rear wheels are all fixed to common axles and spin easily. And the rear axles are fixed fairly rigidly. However on the review model at least the front axle did have some suspension movement. And the link steering also works although the mechanism is not very precise. But it does seem to achieve a realistic angle. And it allows the model to roll well when it's turning. If we straighten up by using our hands on the steering wheels then we can see that the model also rolls well in a straight line. There are a couple of other interesting features on the model and the ball bar at the front folds down and that allows you to tilt the cab. The cab holds a tilted pose and that allows you to see the big Caterpillar engine underneath. It is plastic but it is made up of a number of different components. The other feature it's nice to see implemented on a truck model is a opening cab doors and that lets you see the nicely padded seats inside. This is a very big truck so let's see how it compares with a normal road truck. And here it dwarfs an MAN tractor. How big is the model? It's time for a dim check. Let's get the trusty tape measure out and from end to end it's about 8.5 inches or 22 centimetres. And in case you are vertically challenged let's check the height. And it's nearly 4 inches or 10 centimetres. <laughs> The 
The Trek to Mass is certainly a special truck and Tonkin's done a good job to make this a special model. It's beautifully presented in its special box. There are some plastic parts but it's used appropriately. The detailing and features are very good and although it's not a cheap model, the result is certainly something that's outstanding.